G'day, and welcome back to Santa Monica. Well, I don't think we're not going to be here very l much longer. Because I have been a busy girl, and I think we've completed everything that we can do here in Santa Monica. So yes, we need to report to Prince Lacroix. Prince Lacroix, yeah, at the Venture Tower downtown. And I've got a yellow submarine to help take me there. Come on, door, shut. Oh, Davy Jones Shocker. Authorities quarantine a mysterious vessel. Elizabeth Dane, Long Beach, California. Interesting. Okay, I don't think there's anything left here for me. So. Can I have one final bite? Oh. Man's gone. Well, that's sad. Got anything to sell? Got a tire iron. Oh, and some boomsticks. Let's sell those before we leave. Say farewell to trip. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Alright, here's what we got today. Hmm. Interesting. You have Tyrone. Some boomsticks. Seven dollars each. Big money. Big money. Wow. It's going to take forever to get my money up. How much was that? 450. Okay, trip. Farewell. I'll probably be back here at some point. Yellow submarine. Where to? Hmm. Not here. <laughs> okay, we are in Santa Monica. Let's go downtown. Ah, oh, boring the submarine driver. Out. Oh. <laughs> That's got a sting. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, huh, lick. <laughs> Its eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. Camarilla fuck. Ugh. Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. Son of a bitch! Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. <laughs> 
What are you gonna do? Shoot us? This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Gee, Name's thanks. Nines. <laughs> what happened to one through eight? Same thing that happens to a lot of anarchs, Malk. But you already know that somehow, don't you? Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the burbs. Hmm. Your face is familiar. Do you have your own cereal? Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I like stories. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Maybe. Or maybe not. Oh, that was interesting. Welcome downtown, huh? A hole in the head. Okay, so I guess we need to find the Ventura building. Is there a map around here somewhere? Blade Trinity, December 2004. The Pickening, coming soon. Ah, there's a map. Downtown LA. Empire Arms. Empire Legs. Skyline Apartments. Nocturne Theatre. 11 12 Parking. Hmm, okay. Confession. Is it a church? Uh, Venture Tower. That's where we want to go. Hospital. Hello Brook Hotel. The last round. That's where Nines Rodriguez told us that he would be hanging out. And the public library. So, I am there outside 6, which is Venture Tower. What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm mad and you're not. <laughs> Good evening to you. Good evening. Okay, so which is Venture Tower? Ah, oh, I'm guessing the really, really big building. I'm guessing the prince does not compensate for anything. Hmm. The ground old building? Looks like an old subway building or something. Hello? You're familiar. Snack cake? What are you doing here? I mean, I gotta admit, I'm a little flattered if you're stalking me, but uh, anyhow, uh, you see where your little security muffins ended up? Night shift lobby sergeant, huh? <laughs> hey, you stick with me, because I'm going straight to the top, baby. Ah, Jelly Donut. Allow me to climb the tower. Uh, I'd love to buzz you up, but according to Building Security Protocol 916, I'm going to have to verify you're supposed to be here before I can open the elevator. I hate to be a Louis Law, but I'm new here, and uh, you don't get a second chance like this every day. Louis, the name I seek is LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Not Dwayne. Sebastian. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Many thanks. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. What are you a chunk of? Is there a bigger piece? Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days at the station. 
stationary. That was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. Okay, I'm no longer here. I guess that's... Ooh. I recognize you too. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Boom! Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Bloody Mercury, Two Faces, Diner Assassins. Wolf people. Yes, yes, I'm sure it was quite an experience. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me... What would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Hmm. What shall I spy with my little eyes? There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the Kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? Hmm. I ignored those whispers. Tell me more. The Dane was found out at sea. The reports say it was without crew but they have yet to report a fate of said crew. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. Why this one? Should I repeat myself? I do believe I mentioned the fact that I bent the delicate laws that govern our society to allow you a chance to live. If that isn't enough, I can't give you another reason. Okay, help me understand. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, Take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Oh, where's the fun? Anyway, more than you know. Good. Oh. And it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Uh, he wants me to find the last round in this field of massive rectangles. I see. Then, you should go humor the by-the-numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew... Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kine. 
I love humoring. I am there. Give the Anarch community my regards. Done as good. Okay, the Magilla Gorilla gives me the heebie jeebies. Okay, Elizabeth and Rendezvous. Crow wants us to investigate the Elizabeth Dane. Before you do, he wants us to contact Nines Rodriguez in the bar called The Last Round and find out why he wants to talk to me. I also need blood. It's very bright in here. Hmm. Okay. We should look and uh, see how much experience I've got currently, too. See if we can increase anything. Seven experience. Not quite enough to increase one of these. Fifteen, wow. Hmm, what else should I... Probably should increase my inspection. So, perception or investigation. Well, that increases two, four, or three. Let's go three. Don't really want to waste anything in ranged combat. Um, Research. Security does lock picking. What else do I want to increase? Hagel. Money matters. Finance and manipulation. Manipulation. And he does Hagel. Okay. Would have thought it would have done too things, but nope. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's, uh, we've got four points, let's put four into, uh, or well, one point into manipulation. Okay, I'm going to have a quick look around town. Let's go exploring. Ooh. Gunfight. Oh, hello. Tell me there's COVID outbreak here. Full COVID. Bang, bang. Maybe shut me down. There's people running away. See them. Oh, gang war. Where you going, man? Freeze, motherfucker. Okay, I guess the thunk's won. You don't mind if I pick up their stuff? What are you looking at over there? I can talk to you. Baby girl, I saw you coming from down the street and I started praying to the Lord to find it in his heart to send you to me and hallelujah if he didn't come through for me. Welcome to Fat Larry's Trucker Mac. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh God, but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T because there's more of me to love. Hmm. Fat man. 
I'm powerless from resisting your bizarre mobile. Delight me. Oh man, you been feeding on a rock, girl? Nah, 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 baby, I don't sell none of that no more. Mm, you got some crazy eyes on you. Believe me, I don't have to see the freeze-dried ice cream to know a space cadet when I see one. Fine. No feast of Benjamin Franklin's for the fat man tonight. Now hold on a sec, baby girl. Fat Larry will take care of you. Let me tell you what I got. You like diamond rings? I got that. You got a neighbor with a baby? I got loud ass stereos. You live downtown? I got firearms that make the NRA nervous. Hmm. You have guns for my gold. Sorry, you have guns for my cold, dead hands. Show me. Firex, got a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer might be fun. Damage potential 30. Cool. Got nothing to sell though. I've sold everything. Oh, picked up a knife, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, I need five dollars for a knife. Rip off. Mac. Do you want an arm? Got an arm. Hang on. Got another knife. Do you want a knife? Say now, Wonder Girl. Seeing the kind of commando gear you've been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? What of it, fat man? Wow, wow, wow. That's your business, okay? I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little action czar, alright? Yes, yes, yes. Yo, I need a hardcore pimp killing Cleopatra Jones for a super-sized skull. Straight up Foxy Pam Grier style. Still with me? Do you hear the voices too? Did they describe me to you? Yeah, here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tong and some local boys are meet down at the nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now how that sound? Special stock? I'm your action figure. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight-out hard-boiled Terminator type, I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything? I'm a ninja. My shopping cart is empty. You have another knife. Traffic. Fat Larry, businessman extraordinaire, wants us to acquire a briefcase being exchanged between the Tong and a local gang. Exchange will take place in a nearby parking garage. Get the briefcase undetected, if possible. Okay. Fine. Fashion. It does look like a church. Ooh, got dancing girls and everything.
I keep. Everybody comes in here's got to have a short house rules. Inhibition's the first thing to go. Do more of these and you'll be telling me your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beat priestess, and it's time to confess. Hmm. Gothic architecture, gothic colours, gothic clothes. That would make you a... Uh... Venus was her name. Got anything you want to confess? Hmm. Venus wasn't the name coming to mind. If sin was mud, I would be a pig. But I may not share. Oh, no matter how many times I hear that line, it never gets any more believable. So what's your thing, hmm? Stealing from work, sex in graveyards, watching the neighbor's daughter with the bite saw? <laughs> Several moons have passed since the madness crept in. Hmm, sounds serious. I'm going to need details, so I know whether to pour a Hail Mary or a Highway to Hell. Hmm. It was my own hands which launched buildings in Santa Monica. Oh, yeah? I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's gotten a little out of hand, and I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intrigued yet? Anything that exits your lips, goddess, is my will. Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. Couple of guys, Russian accents, bit big. I need you to tell them Venus doesn't have their money. That's it. This task speaks to my will. Hmm, I expected you'd bite. Empire Hotel, tell them I'm broke. You can run, right? Never mind, just don't go starting any street fights, alright? These guys are connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the beat breezers. Later, darling. I'll be as the wind. Um. The voice from your head is even more angelic than the voice in mine. <laughs> Me? Every last pound of you. I stopped experimenting with girls who live in their parents' basement back in high school. Get lost. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> I knew you talked to me. I swear you were all like totally drawn to me. I'm surprised I don't know you. I usually meet all the L.A. vampires out on the scene. Not a lot of you out tonight, which is weird, because I don't know of any parties going on. This is not the movies, is it? No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously, everyone knows me. Besides, I just wanted to ask you if you've seen someone. Someone? Always. Everywhere. With names unknown. His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking. Dresses really well. Like all Prada, usually. Kent? No. Allen? No. Ryan? No. Oh. Well, he's pretty powerful. He's probably, like, too far behind the scenes for you to know about him. Maybe you know some of the people who work for him. This conversation ended eons ago. No, don't go. I really need to find him. Really. Maybe you can ask around. I'm spread thin across this city at the moment. Oh, look. I haven't seen him in days. He said to come see me again. He promised. I might age. He promised I would get thirsty. I do not have the words you wish. Well, fine. You're just some ugly, fledgling bitch. I hung out with way more powerful vampires than you'll ever know. I would drink better blood if you were the last vampire on Earth. I'm already gone. Wow, getting loud in there.
Thankfully, it drowned out her voice. A bit annoying. It's a, it's a nice night out, huh? Yeah, nice night for a walk. Nocturne a Theatre. It's closed. Skyline Apartments Empire Arms Hotel But so wasn't the job that I was just given somewhere near the Empire Arms? Venus, owner of the Club of Confession, wants you to go to the parking lot next to the Empire Arms Hotel and tell the Russians that she doesn't have their money. Here. Hello, are you Russians? Fashion bitch send you. I hail from Venus. Money. Where is money? Money? Her purse is empty. No summon tonight for you, Grizzly. No money? No. Yeah, hey, hey, no. Right oh, hey, fuck you. Where'd the others go? Down there. Die already. Come here. Yeah, you reload. I'll suck. Tell her the outcome of that. I could have a bit of feed too. That's nice. Buy a watch. Why do I want to buy a watch? Your message was delivered, goddess. I can't hear you! Let's talk in my office! Done. Oh, tragedy. Still pretty loud in here. Well, you certainly did better than my bouncer did. Poor dear can't turn his neck to the right anymore. <laughs> Already had a call from Boris. Wasn't too happy about tonight, son of a bitch. Say, how would you like to get into the club business, hmm? Boris? Well, to start this club, I have to take out a significant loan from a king bastard by the name of Boris, and every time I haven't been able to make the monthly plus interest, the bastard takes what he feels is a suitable late fee. 
babbling until exhaustion, goddess. I've got a club to run, so I'll be blunt. I refuse to fuck that fat misogynistic old man one more time to hold on to the club. So I need someone to eliminate him. Do this, and I'll make you a silent partner. Hmm. I will become Mars to save you from Vulcan, I love goddess. He's at the Empire Hotel, always as a few of the fiercest bully boys standing around trying to outsneer each other. He's got a short temper, and more than likely he's been drinking for the last four hours. Here, key to the penthouse level. Yes, the Tsar's reign will end shortly. Okay. Job. Okay, get down. in that club. Anyway, we need to go talk to Mr. Rodriguez for the last round. Let's see if we can find the last round. Too bit cold, honey? Need company? Tonight. Got all the company I need right here in my head. Hey, Kenny. You stop. No, you stop. Stop it. Ah, stop. Stupid sign. The last round. Oh, I get it. It's a play on words. It's a, it's a revolver. A pistol. It's the last round. A pistol. I was thinking the last round as in the last round at a bar. Okay, that's that's cool. That's cool. Jack! Well, well, looky who made it back in one piece. 
Out in Santa Monica, kiddo. Hmm. The lady was sad and beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure it was a stroll on the beach. So did you score a lot of ski ball tickets down on the pier there? I whipped around the wooden ball, but procured no prize. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. Probably too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? Right as a red rain. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> mm, nine swooped in like death on demon's wings. Yeah, not a moment too soon, huh? <laughs> he said you guys let those sabat go too. Nines must be getting soft. How can you pass up that kind of fun? Why does Nines keep saving this little fly? Well, well he was left sireless too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Well, he's got a thing for the little guy. How did the sabat find my shadow? Someone must have put a word out. Now, here's an interesting little scenario. I'm just gonna run this by you, see what you think. What if the prince got the word out to the Sabbat that you were the one to blow up their warehouse? Is that the terrible truth? Hey, it's just a theory, man, but who else is gonna be watching you so closely, knowing where you're going and all that? Would the Jester dance such a jig? With the Sabbat? I'm not saying he's working with the Sabbat. I know he ain't. But he sure as hell could have put the word out there on the street where the Sabbat would pick up on it. Uh, just chew on that. Impressive, this news. But probable. It's how the Camarilla works, kiddo. Trust me. I've been dealing with these slimy shits for a few centuries now. Such politics are dread and dirty. Politics. The stuff that makes the rich get richer keeps the powerful in power. Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Because Prince LaCroix said so. Hmm. Why was I chosen for this dark fate? Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. Why would the Jester hate this little fly? It's bullshit, Camarilla Law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fascist crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. Hmm. So... Why has the spider not killed this little fly? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Vents who are born in a boardroom. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Hmm. Why does the Jester fear the Shadow of Nines? Isn't he chief? LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. Hmm. LaCroix is the boss. <laughs> That's rich. Hmm. Even a jester may parade in the king's cloak. The facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free-living vampires they need to be ruled is a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play nicey plan. Show everyone how great they are, so we'll all just jump on board. Are the little demons jumping? Kid, we've lived in California, some of us, for over a hundred years, and we've kicked the Camarilla's ass out of town before. Seems like every time they smell blood, they're back trying to take over. Who is we? The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Whatever the hell that means. Anarchs. Does got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I seek knowledge of these Anarchs. Charter of Entropy. That's us, so I'm told. What'd you want to know? Hmm, how long have they ranged, raged against the machine? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. 
What's any of that shit mean anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? I like history. Power is in knowing the past. I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. Seen more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation's ever gonna be easy, but some things you gotta decide are worth fighting for. Hmm. How to win such a Julian game? Fight harder than the other son of a bitch. Every time I yank a jawbone from a skull and ram it in an eye socket, I know I'm building a better future. <laughs> Hmm. Does Nines share your grisly visions? You bet, kid. Is Nines the chief of the Anarch tribe? As much as anyone is. Nines is a stand-up guy. He takes the politics a little too seriously, though. Came up during the Great Depression, so his brain's wired to that shit. Okay. So he's only fairly young, considering. Came up in the Great Depression that was in the 30s. 20s and 30s, wasn't it? Hmm, and the rest of the wolves that run with Nines? Yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of them. Nines crew. Hmm. What blood brain runs in your veins? Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. Okay. May I mine your grey matter? Moving right along. Tell me the secrets of the Sabbat. Again? Does everything have to be about these dickheads? Hmm. Not if it doesn't need to be. The Sabbat are worthless, man. Fake tits on a zombie worthless. Fun to watch, though. Like the Three Stooges with chainsaws. What's their major malfunction? The Sabbat are in the same business as the Camarilla. Sabbat have a little longer chain, but they're slaves all the same. Okay. I'm no longer here. Nice to see you again, Jack. Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, post a child for Camarilla Benevolence. What does the prince have his little bitch doing today? The jester plays his little games and sends a little pawn before him. Jester? What? What the hell did you say? Hold on. You're Malkavian, right? Oh, you're doubly screwed. Crazy as hell and the prince's bitch. Little pawn, you said? Yeah, you got that right. Maybe you're not as crazy as you look. Greetings, Helter Skelter. Huh? How did... Damn. Malkavians and a goddamn insight. That shit is creepy. Anyway, yeah. My name is Skelter. I do my part to keep California a free state for the Anarchs. I seek he of the name of Numbers. So then go on up and see him. You're free to do as you please here. Okay, when I get to the bottom, I'll go back to the top of the slide. Farewell. Upstairs, huh? There he is. What are you looking at, girl? Sabat chase you in here, Cammy. Hmm. Are you the uh, damsel of distress? Yes. I'm damsel. Someone talking shit about me over in that ivory tower? Who said it, huh? I'll kick their ass. Hmm. The only words spoken were in my head. Lunatic. I'd give you a piece of my mind, seeing as how you're just another do girl for the Camarilla. Shit. No amount of good sense penetrates that white noise you Malks call a brain, does it? Something is plaguing you. What? Weird you say that, yeah. You might say something is plaguing me. A plague bearer, as a matter of fact. Plague bearer? This word's un unfamiliar to me. A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. Enough gets sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Ah. That explains it. Can't you just shoo the dirty carrier pigeon away? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, 
Guess what happens? So the plague bearer's got to be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. My neck owes a debt to the Anox. What shall I do? One of our boys' ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Hmm. I will touch this ghoul with his mind's secret places. In his Wait. mind. Wait. If Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pot. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Hmm. I'll spread my mind around the city of angels. See you, damn sail. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. More. You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla? This is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. What it works out to is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Hmm. Aren't we all just one big happy family named Camarilla? Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest little horseshit a man ever heard. Let me hear your truth. I learned the way of this world during the Depression. Bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch free state. Hmm... The Camarilla's a sapling here? The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now LaCroix and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Hmm. Are you the Prince of Thieves and are these your merry men? Don't use me and Prince in the same sentence, Malk. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. Long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bitted or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Hmm. So you and the Prince don't golf on the weekends? LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians... The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Hmm. Salt of the earth, mud under his nails, and manure for a brain. The hell with you then. You go on back to your tower. Say what you want about me, but not one of us in this bar is a no-good, two-faced, backstabbing, would-be tyrant like that son of a bitch LaCroix. He and his Camarilla are on borrowed time. You tell him Nines Rodriguez said so. Time can also be spent, and I have overpaid tonight. I'm gone. I, think I pissed him off. Anyway, I am going to call it a day there, or rather a night, I should say. So. Yes, I am going to call it a night there. Join me next time. And we'll have a further look around downtown. I guess I should go to this Elizabeth Dane. 
do that fairly properly, but I've also got these other missions as well. So, I'm sure I'll find something to do. Anyway, hope you join myself and Kaya then.